Have you ever wondered how much information your brain can hold at one time? Let's do a quick experiment. I'm going to show you a list of numbers for just a few seconds, and I want you to see how many you can remember. Ready? Here we go. Two, eight, six, three, two, nine, one, six, five, three. Got it? How many numbers were you able to recall? Five, seven, maybe nine. Well, you're about to find out why that is. Did you know that your brain's short-term memory can typically only hold about seven items at once? That's right. This concept was discovered by a brilliant psychologist named George Miller, and it's called the magical number seven, plus or minus two. Intrigued? Stick around, because today we're diving deep into how your memory works, and we'll discuss some of the most powerful techniques to make it even better. All right, let's break this down. George Miller, in his groundbreaking 1956 paper, revealed that our short-term memory, or STM, can hold about seven chunks of information at once. Think of chunks as small packets of data. Instead of remembering single digits, your brain groups them into chunks, like turning 1974 into 1974. Clever, right? But here's the thing. STM isn't just limited in capacity, it's also fleeting. Without rehearsal, the information in your STM fades away in about 20 to 30 seconds. That's why you often forget a phone number, unless you repeat it to yourself a few times. So what does this mean for you? Whether you're a student trying to cram for exams, a professional juggling multiple tasks, or just someone who wants to improve their memory, understanding STM can help you retain information better. It's all about making the most of your brain's natural capabilities. Let's get into some practical tips. Let's kick things off with a few basic memory techniques that are easy to learn and will give you immediate results. Then, we will get on with the advanced memory tactics that could change your memory game forever. So, let's get started. First, chunking. It is one of the simplest yet most effective memory techniques. The idea is to break down large pieces of information into smaller, manageable chunks. Our brains find it easier to remember information when it's grouped together. For example, Instead of trying to remember a long string of numbers like 149-21776-2018, break it into chunks. 1492, 1776, 2018. It's much easier to remember three dates than one long number. This ties in perfectly with George Miller's theory of the magic number seven, which suggests that the average person can hold about seven, plus or minus two items, in their short-term memory. So when you're chunking information, aim for around seven pieces in each group. Here's a practical exercise to improve your chunking skills. Take a random list of words or numbers and practice grouping them into meaningful chunks. Start with simple lists and gradually increase the complexity as you become more comfortable with the technique. Next, we have repetition. When you repeat information, you strengthen the neural connections associated with that memory making it easier to retrieve in the future. This is why repetition is so effective for learning new skills or memorizing facts. One effective method is the Leitner system, a form of spaced repetition that uses flashcards. In this system, you sort flashcards into different boxes based on how well you know the information. Cards you know well move to boxes with longer review intervals, while cards you struggle with stay in boxes with shorter intervals. This ensures you focus on the information you're least familiar with. To take full advantage of Miller's theory, repeat your chunks of around seven items until they're ingrained in your memory. Another repetition technique is the Feynman technique, named after physicist Richard Feynman. This method involves teaching the material to someone else or pretending to do so. By explaining the concept in simple terms, you reinforce your understanding and identify areas where you need further review. This method combines repetition with active learning, making it highly effective. To apply the Feynman technique, start by choosing a concept you want to learn. Write down everything you know about the topic as if you were teaching it to someone with no background knowledge. Then, review your explanation and identify any gaps or areas of confusion. Study those areas further and repeat the process until you can explain the concept clearly and confidently. Next, mnemonics. 
Mnemonics are memory aids that help you encode information in a way that's easier to remember. There are many types of mnemonics, including acronyms, rhymes, and visualization techniques. Acronyms are created by taking the first letter of each word in a list and forming a new word or phrase. For example, to remember the colors of the rainbow, use the acronym ROIGBIV, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Mnemonics that respect the magical number seven principle are indeed some of the most memorable. By chunking information into groups of around seven, plus or minus two items, mnemonics capitalize on our brain's natural capacity for short-term memory. Visualization involves creating a mental image that represents the information you want to remember. The more vivid and unusual the image, the better. For example, to remember that the capital of France is Paris, imagine the Eiffel Tower with a giant letter P on top of it. Another advanced mnemonic technique is the major system, which converts numbers into consonant sounds and then into words. For example, the number the three might be associated with the letter M because they look similar. To remember the number 34, you could create a word using the consonants M and R, such as mirror. By turning numbers into words, you create memorable images that are easier to recall. Now that we've covered the basic yet highly effective memory techniques, let's step up our game with some advanced techniques. First up, we have visualization. Well, it's not visualization in visual mnemonics, it whole another game. A game where your imagination creates vivid, memorable images that stick in your mind effortlessly. Let's dive into how you can use this technique to boost your memory to new heights. Visualization is a powerful memory technique that leverages the brain's natural ability to remember images more easily than text or numbers. By creating vivid, detailed mental images, you can improve your ability to recall information. To practice visualization, start by choosing a piece of information you want to remember. Then, create a mental image that represents that information. The image should be as detailed and colorful as possible, and it should involve elements that are unusual or surprising. For example, if you need to remember a person's name, associate the name with a vivid image. If the person's name is Rose, imagine them holding a bouquet of roses or standing in a rose garden. The more unique and striking the image, the easier it will be to recall the name later. Visualization is a versatile technique that can be applied to many types of information. Let's explore some advanced examples. Suppose you're trying to remember a complex process, such as the steps in a scientific experiment. Create a detailed mental image of each step, using vivid colors and dramatic actions. For example, if the first step is adding a chemical to a beaker, imagine a giant hand pouring a glowing liquid into a sparkling beaker. The more detailed and imaginative the image, the easier it will be to recall. I mean, I make videos by using visualization, so I know better. Visualization can also enhance your study sessions. When learning new information, create mental images that represent the concepts. For example, if you're studying the water cycle, visualize each stage in vivid detail. The sun causing water to evaporate, clouds forming through condensation, rain falling during precipitation, and water collecting in rivers and lakes. These images make abstract concepts more concrete and memorable. The method of Loshi, also known as the memory palace technique, is a mnemonic strategy that involves visualizing a familiar place and associating pieces of information with specific locations in that place. This technique takes advantage of your brain's natural ability to remember spatial information. The method of Loshi, is a powerful technique that can be applied to a wide range of information. Let's explore some advanced examples. Suppose you need to remember a complex sequence, such as the steps in a business process. Create a memory palace based on a familiar place, like your office building. Assign each step to a specific location within the building. As you mentally walk through the building, you'll be able to recall each step in order. Here's a practical exercise to get started with the method of LOSA. Choose a familiar route, such as your daily commute, and practice placing pieces of information 
at different points along the route. Start with a short list and gradually increase the length as you become more comfortable with the technique. The method of loci can also be used for studying. If you're preparing for an exam, create a memory palace that includes all the key concepts you need to remember. Assign each concept to a specific location within your palace. As you mentally walk through your palace, review each concept in detail. This technique not only helps with memorization, but also reinforces your understanding of the material. I mean, if you master this technique, you'll be giving Sherlock Holmes a run for his deerstalker hat. In essence, understanding George Miller's magic number seven theory helps us optimize how we use memory techniques. By respecting the limits of our short-term memory and employing strategies like chunking, mnemonics, and visualization, we can enhance our ability to learn, remember, and recall information effectively. Remember, the key to effective learning is not just working harder, but also working smarter. Use these strategies to make the most of your brain's natural capabilities, and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. But wait, there's another technique that's like the secret weapon of memory masters, mind map. It's super powerful and backed by science. Ready to unlock your brain's full potential? Click here to find out more. Thanks for watching and keep those neurons firing.